The solar eclipse in Scorpio starts on October 25th of 2022. On the degree of supreme power, two degrees. We've officially entered eclipse season. What is an eclipse, you may be wondering. An eclipse is when the sun and moon meet on the elliptical path. Whenever the sun and moon come together, it's a new moon. New moons are meant for new beginnings, new manifestations, and bringing in new energies within your life. Normally, most new moons are times to manifest and make sure that you want exactly what you're aiming for to come through. However, during eclipse time frames, a lot of this energy is very unpredictable and it actually brings up a lot of shadow within people at the end of the day. If you didn't know, I'm doing destiny readings on my website and they are on sale for all of eclipse season. 30% off for anyone who watches this video and puts in the code eclipse. Eclipses are known all around the world in all cultures to have significant impact. They were normally referred to as omens of some sort and people were confused why the sun would just black out in the middle of the day and have no reference as to what was actually happening. Even if today, if you didn't know about that and you walked outside and saw it, you'd be probably pretty confused. The nature of all eclipses are inherently magical. Name one movie that doesn't have a full moon or an eclipse in the sky or anything of that sort anytime anything gets real. Where do you think that comes from? Real life. Real life. The solar eclipse is the brewing of the energy that is going to be at its height on October 25th. Mystery, magic, and intuition are going to be at an all-time high due to the fact that it is going to be at two degrees. Not only that, but the solar eclipse is going to be conjunct Venus, the light bearer. The light bearer, the goddess of love, all on the eclipse, also making a breakthrough for your values. What are the things that you love and what are the things that you used to love? Even through healing, sometimes there has to be references to the past in order to get through certain energy. Speaking of, this is the South Node in Scorpio that's going to be holding on to the collective during this time. Although there is definite advancement, there's still a lot of undercurrent energies that are going to be guiding you through this time frame. So over the next month, as we enter into November and the middle of November, these are the energies that are going to be affecting us. Eclipses bring out the shadow side of people and sometimes the part of people that they haven't accepted about themselves. And normally when people think about darker side, truthfully, it's just a more emotional side more than half of the time. Scorpio is a very passionate sign because of the way that it has its fixed emotions. The things that it cares about, it will literally go and transform anything it needs to to make sure that it happens. This tenacity and power comes from Mars being its ruler, but also Pluto having its influence from further out. Scorpio, however, is the yin side of Mars. With that being said, it's going to be more receptive on things that are going to be very, dare I say, guttural, honest, and real. Scorpio always wants to bring the real out of everything around it. On the other side of the axis to this is going to be the North Node in Taurus. The North Node in Taurus is trying to have us reshape our values. This is a time frame where we're going to find the values that we're looking for in other people. How can you either emulate or dive into or literally become in a certain sense the things that you actually want to be? Scorpio energy approaches things that it loves with reckless abandon. What do you love enough to shut out the entire world for if you needed to? And now that I've officially done my professional part, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this, or just potatoes if you only potatoes. I think the solar eclipse is actually going to blow everyone's mind. 
in a way where you actually start to recognize how far you've come and it propels you forward in a way where you're like, I, there's no other thing I could go for. Since there is a lot of letting go and letting the universe, it is really hard for the human mind to get around because we're always like, wait, why don't we have to do something? One time, a great astrologer by the name of Alyssa Sharp explained the eclipses like they were a wrecking ball. Like, even if you didn't leave the house, stayed in under the bed with the covers over your head, the energies are still going to come through and happen. Because of that, there is a certain energy that you kind of have to tap into. And to be fair, my generation of Pluto and Sagittarius are going to be doing this way better than anybody else. The one attitude to cop for this solar eclipse in Scorpio. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. How would you best prepare for the solar eclipse? I would honestly say do any type of cleansing ritual that you can. I'd honestly recommend doing a simmer pot of herbs in your home. Been doing it recently. It's a really cool vibe. Definitely would recommend it. I would say any energy cleanses and because Scorpio is a water sign specifically, you could somehow get yourself to like a waterfall or some type of cool water, body of water, you will be having a phenomenal time. It's just crazy to me how the solar eclipse is at two degrees, supreme power, at the most maximum a new moon could get. crazy this is a quick card for the collective for the solar eclipse and scorpio we have the seven of pentacles there's still work to be done but every time that you take the time out to do it and get it right you do have genuine growth towards what you're trying to accomplish don't give up don't let out because things don't happen instantly. Instant gratification is not the way through this solar eclipse. Definitely make sure that you tap in to your patience. Patience is a virtue, but the Scorpio is going to be bringing up secrets and power that are going to let you bring in the bounty later on post the lunar eclipse in Taurus. I just had to get some water real quick. Stay hydrated underneath this solar eclipse, honestly. That's... This is a promotion for water. Yes, drink, drink more water. Big drink. I was in a beverage commercial once. Don't play me. The Moonology Oracle card for this eclipse. Yo. The new moon in Scorpio. I can't I can't make this up. I got the new moon in Scorpio for the solar eclipse in Scorpio. <laughs> I am good at what I do. This is proof. I, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. That's crazy. Walk through your fears. Wow. There's moments like these where I'm like, how how's it? How's it fake? No, no. <laughs> Crazy. And the last pull that we're going to have for this is going to be joy. Make sure to tap into your center of joy and what gives you exuberance. The exuberance that you end up feeling will turn into deep-seated passion later. It's going to make you rich. Please wait for the lunar eclipse in the rest of November. I'll be talking about that in later videos. If you want a personal reading, like I mentioned before, on my website, use the code Eclipse and it's going to be 30% off of whatever you end up ordering. It's going to be only available for that. So if you've never gotten your chart read before or if you have any questions about the end of this year or the upcoming year, I suggest you get one ASAP. Much love as always. Please check out the website. I have all my information on there and we'll be adding so much more. Much love and until next time, have a great one.